Last week, 59 Gaming uploaded a good amount of Dokkan tier lists for 2020, and today we're going to be reacting to their LR tier list by Sunblade Truth and Goresh. If you guys want to see more reaction videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Also, shout out to 59 Gaming. The link for this video will be in the description. I was not going to go ahead and play the whole video, so I took a screenshot of, you know, all 10 units that they ranked, and I'm going to be talking about whether, you know, I agree with this or not. So, let's hop straight in. In the 10th slot, um, all basically all of them said Vegito. And in the 9th slot, they had a Gogeta. So, they're saying that Gogeta is better than Vegito except for Goresh, who says Blue Boys is in that ninth uh, is in that ninth slot. And Gresh doesn't even think Gogeta is, is top 10, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, honestly, the Blue Fusions, they're very, 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 very strong. The only issue with them is, A, Tech Vegito needs dupes to be, like, extremely powerful. And B, they take so long to build up that I definitely agree with this. Like, the, the, the Blue Fusions aren't what they used to be simply because of the sheer power of LRs that, that have come out recently. So Blue Boys, again, they're very strong. Um, honestly, I would probably have them in the top 10, but they would be just literally like all the way up there. And they have Gogeta better than Vegito. And the reason why I agree with this is because Tech Vegito, no matter how strong he is, doesn't do damage to intelligence type units, especially if it's a hard like boss, right? Like if you're facing a Dokkan event, obviously Tech Vegito is going to destroy but Legendary Goku then, MUI Goku doesn't take damage from Tech Vegeta, unless this guy crits, right? Which is, again, why you need dupes for this LR. Um, whereas Gogeta maybe doesn't have the best defense, but destroys every single unit because he's effective against all types. So Tech Vegito does do more super attacks, therefore his defense is better because they both raise defense on super attack. However, uh, Gogeta, because he's effective against all types just blows his opponent away whereas tech vegeto can easily be stopped so in my opinion that's why i do think gogeta is better than vegeto um let me know what you guys think but i do agree with them being in the 10th and 9th slot in the eighth slot i'll i'll just compare like two slots at a time so in the eighth slot they have blue boys and except for goresh who has um the angel super saiyan 2 vegeta and super saiyan 3 goku i guess and then in the seventh slot Basically, all of them except for Truth have LR uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, whereas Truth has what's his face the uh, the Spirit Bomb Goku. And if you guys look at the next tier, the the sixth slot, it's actually switched. So everyone has Spirit Bomb Goku, whereas Truth has Gohan. So honestly, I do think Blue Bros. Um, they're very, very, very good, and um, I think that they have the potential to look like one of the best units in the game. However, they are heavily restricted on orbs, so they're not going to be looking the best they possibly can unless you force it, unless you use specific items. So I agree with them being in the eighth slot. Um, and then when it comes to the seventh slot, honestly, like Tech, this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, in my opinion, like I don't know, he is very strong. Uh, he, I think he's probably one of the hardest hitting LRs in the game. Um, however, he's pretty, like, I don't know, um, he's, his defense isn't, you know, the best, um, I feel like, and again, his active skill and his passive is only for, like, for, like, one turn, so honestly, I, I might put Blue Boys in the 7th slot and Gohan in the 8th slot, again, Gohan is extremely powerful, but again, that active skill and passive is, like, one turn only, so what I would do is put, Gohan in the 8th slot, Go and Blue Bros in the 7th slot, because remember, Blue Bros with that active skill, plus everything they do, it's it's, it's literally disgusting, right? Um, and then the 6th slot, I do agree with having, uh, you know, the Spirit Bomb Goku in there. His ability, like, on the Super Saiyans team especially, if you have two of these guys floating off, the, the, at the rate that they're changing orbs and allowing units like the, the physical the Super um the physical Super Saiyan Gogeta, the physical Super Vegito, the, the three are units, and whoever else is on that team, their ability to get these 18 key supers because this guy is just changing orbs like crazy is literally insane. This guy is very, very, very valuable. But uh, in terms of like, he does do a lot of damage. Uh, his defense is, is okay. I know he does uh, raise defense on his 12 key. 
Um, but I do think utility wise, utility wise, he is definitely better than Gohan. And I, I do think that overall, he can be more useful than the Blue Bros because again, they are very dependent on orbs. So I would say again, uh, for just starting from the bottom. So Gogeta, uh, no, Vegito, I'd have in 10th slot. Gogeta, I have in the 9th slot. 8th slot, I have Gohan. 7th slot, I have Blue Bros. And in the 6th slot, I would put Spirit Bomb Goku from these LRs. The 5th slot and the 4th slot. Okay, we have Jiren and we have Goku. So LR UI Goku... Honestly, I'm a little biased here. As uh, one of my favorite LRs in the game, his his only issue is that he is heavy RNG based, and we all know when it comes to RNG and Dokkan, um, it's not the best experience. Like when units should be doing something, they are doing something else. When Goku should be dodging, he's taking every single super and then dodging the normals, and that happens to me a lot. But it also happens where Goku doesn't get touched. So in my opinion, just like Blue Bros. Goku has the potential to look like one of the best units in the game. You bring him to SBR, he dodges the first 20 attacks and one-shots one of the enemies because Goku can do that, right? Especially at Rainbow Link level 10. This UI Goku is extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. But when you compare him to Jiren, right? Jiren, in my opinion, attack and defense plus 200%. His ability to gain key from his passive, right? The team you can build around him, the fact that he has effective against all types, Guaranteed crit if the enemy is stunned like like I mean the effect against all types is when the enemy is an attack or defensive down status But you can get that so easily with the pride troopers unit or even the str topo So in my opinion, I would have Jiren in that third slot. I, I think Jiren is in that third slot now UI Goku is UI Goku better than Turles, right? He and, and this is the issue for me um Turles is a very strong unit very very strong unit um, his ability to get that 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 24 uh, key super active skill twice is very 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 strong um, I I've watched videos on Turles and honestly, I don't know like he's strong I, I've never used him before so it, it's like I, you know like I can't really say too 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 much whereas all these other LRs that we've ranked so far I have so I don't know it's just I, I don't I don't see how like Turles is very good I'm not saying Turles isn't good but I feel like Jiren when in his best is better than Turles in his best. Um, again, I know people are going to disagree with that, but that's just my opinion. Like, I would rather rock Rainbow Jiren at his best than LR Turles Rainbow Link Level 10 at his best, right? Uh, I do think that Jiren is going to be putting out more power, more damage, especially with how easy it is to unlock his full passive with the units around him. I know this Turles can link up with the AGL Turles. I know he gives like 40% attack or whatever, but still, like, I still feel like Jiren is better. So, I would keep... I would keep, here's what I would do. I would put, um, and then, you know, when it comes to UI Goku, again, I, I do really like UI Goku. I really do like UI Goku because, again, when he's helped me beat so many stages because he just doesn't, he just doesn't get hit. And the fact that he gets stronger every time he does dodge makes it so that if he doesn't dodge, he's better defensively and offensively. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Turles in the fifth slot. Then I'm going to put Goku in the fifth fourth slot and Jiren in the third slot. Jiren is more consistent than UI Goku. UI Goku can look really bad, but UI Goku, in my opinion, is more useful than someone like Turles. Turles, I'm not saying he's a bad unit. He's great defensively. He's great offensively, but UI Goku with a 70% chance to dodge for the first amount of turns, especially in Extreme SBR, Super SBR, he's helped me beat so many stages because, again, he just doesn't get hit. Sometimes he does. A lot of times he does, but to, like that chance... Um, I really do value, uh, you know, so I'd put Turles in the fifth slot. I would put UA Goku in the fourth slot and Jiren in the third slot. And then and now we have Vegito and Buhan. Now, Vegito and Buhan as one and two, I'm not going to argue. Uh, Vegito, see, the reason, okay, let's actually talk about Buhan first. Buhan stacks defense. Now, this means that over the, long, like, over the course of like a long event, Buhan is going to be better than Vegito defensively. And in my opinion, I value defense more than offense. Like Tech Ultimate Gohan, for example. Tech Ultimate Gohan, the best defensive unit in the game, in my opinion. Like, I don't think it gets better than that. The best defensive unit in the game. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how you can make a case for anyone else. I really don't, but I guess you can try. Um, so, but offensively, he's not the greatest. Like, he, I've seen him crit against MUI Goku after stacking deep, greatly stacking attack for like 80 million turns, and he doesn't just do that much damage. Like, take Ultimate Gohan, 
isn't like the greatest offensively. He's definitely not. There's so many units who outshine him offensively, but defensively one of the best units in the game, right? But Vegito, this is, and I was actually thinking of putting Buhan in the number one slot, but Vegito, before he even transformed, mitigates damage, which is insane. Like that's extremely, extremely useful in things like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, the hardest event in the game. The moment this man transforms, he gets a chance to crit from his passive while he counters. That is super broken. Do you know how much damage that's doing? Like, when when unit when 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 units counter, you want to give them crit, but this man just does it from his passive. So even if you go all additionals, this guy is still gonna be critting out of his mind. I know it's a medium chance or whatever, but still, it's definitely, definitely, definitely possible. Um, and then his ability to see super attacks is something that's like so much more valuable than just simply raising defense. Because while this guy, while Buhan is stacking defense, Vegito is helping you not take damage by certain by certain super attacks and helping you say okay, like basically helping you avoid taking so much damage, which again um, is super 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 valuable. Now Goresh has Turles as number one. Um, I haven't. I don't know. I wouldn't put Turles at number one, obviously. Again, guys, this is a tier list. This is all opinion based. So like, we're not here to, you know, you know, crap on anyone's opinion. It is what it is. If you like a unit, like you can say your favorite LR in the game is like my favorite LR in the game is Tech LR Broly, right? Um, he wouldn't be top 10. Um, so it's all opinion based. I, I don't think Turles is number one. Um, again, Turles is extremely good. I would definitely have him in the fifth slot. And then he also said that he likes Buhan better than Vegito, which is perfectly okay. In the long run, in the long run, Buhan will not take damage as long as you stack before you transform with the active skill, right? And that's another thing. These units have active skill transformations or fusions, or whatever. So that makes it so that you can you can decide when you really want to prioritize one form over another, which is very, very, very strong. Whereas the blue boys, something I didn't bring up before, they don't have that active skill, you know, like choice. You see what I'm saying? Like uh, if you could stack, well, and here's the thing too, like I don't think I'd even want a choice to act, if I'm thinking about it because you want them to build up. The moment they the moment they transform, they take 11, 12, 13 turns to build up completely. They both do additional super uh, attacks, which helps them build up quicker, but it still takes super, super long in, 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 a, in a meta where units are turn one, just like Jiren, turn one, attack and defense plus 200%. So um, again, I'll just go through it again. 10th slot, I'll have Vegito there for sure. 9th slot, I'll have Gogeta there for sure. 8th slot, um, I would put... Wait, I forgot who I said I'll put in the 8th slot. Oh, 8th slot, I'll put Gohan, yeah. 7th slot, I'll put Blue Rose. 6th slot, I'll keep the uh, Spirit Bomb Goku there. 5th slot, I'll put Turles. 4th slot, I'm going to go ahead and put Yuai Goku. 3rd slot, I'll put Jiren. 2nd slot, I'll go ahead and put Buhan. And then the first slot, I would put Vegito. Thinking about Vegito as the best LR in the game to me um, is, is weird. It's, it's weird, for sure. And honestly, I didn't really think of Vegito as the best unit in the game until really starting to make this video. Um, but there is no other LR in the game who can mitigate damage, who can counter while having a chance to crit from his passive and then see super attacks. So, in my opinion, it's just super dumb. And then when he does super attack... He does raise his defense, helping him defend a lot better. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, this was the reaction towards the LR Dokkan tier list for um, Dokkan, obviously, Sunblade, Truth, and Goresh. Shout out to you guys. Again, link to this video will be in the description, so make sure to check it out. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.